Zara were excited for their school trip to Pine Hill Park. Trees, birds, trails, it was gonna be a fun day. Don't leave the trail, their teacher warned. But Leo being Leo. This was the opening scene of a kid's story I created using just one prompt. No camera, no voice work, no illustrators, no animation deep. Just one tool and it did everything for me. And I know what you're thinking. Is this another AI tool that gives you half-baked content and expects you to fix the rest? No, this one's different because it doesn't just write you a story. It turns that story into a script, a scene board, a visual storyboard, a voiceover, and an animated YouTube video that can go as long as up to 30 minutes. And if you ever tried combining ChatGPT, Midjourney, Eleven Labs, and an editing software, you know how painful that pipeline can be. So today, I'll walk you through Magic Light, a tool that replaces all of that, and I'll show you how I created a full YouTube Kids story video from scratch. So before we get into how it works, let's talk about what matters most if you are a creator. Can you actually make money with this? And the short answer is, yes, you can. You can upload these AI-generated stories to YouTube and earn through AdSense. Kids content brings huge watch time and that drives revenue. You can also monetize through affiliate links like the one I have left for Magic Light down below or sell your own prompt packs and digital storybooks. So some creators even turn this into a full faceless channel, uploading one story a week and building long-term passive income. And the best part is that you don't need to be a designer, an editor, or even an animator. You just need one good idea and a bit of consistency. When you first log into Magic Light, it doesn't look like much, but under the hood, this thing is doing something I haven't seen in any other tool. It uses a large scale model, DeepSeek R1, not just to generate stories, but to break them into scenes, assign visuals, voices, and build a full video pipeline. You are not pasting bits into five different tools. You are building one story that becomes one finished video inside one platform through one prompt. And yes, the final result is fully monetizable on YouTube. So when you get into Magic Light, you can see all these community builds and all of them are really great for inspiration. But let me show you how I built mine. Let's start with the story. I wanted something original, but still at the same level where kids can enjoy it. Something that feels a little magical, but still grounded enough for kids aged between 6 to 10 years. So here's the prompt I used. Write a kid's story, 600 to 800 words, about a brother and sister, Leo and Zara. It's a long prompt. It is available in the description below. Drop this into ChatGPT or Magic Light's native prompt box. And within seconds, you will have a fully fleshed out story. By the way, I have made a list of more than 20 prompts that you can use to create your scenes. The PDF is in the description below and it is totally free for you to download. So with the final prompt, as you saw, I dropped it into ChatGPT, but you can also paste it directly into Magic Light's prompt box. So with the new story arc, I have the characters, a setting, a plot arc, and a model. But here's where the real magic kicks in. Magic Light doesn't give you the story only it actually breaks it into a scene board. So in comparison, most tools would just give you a wall of text and wish you luck that you handle it on your own. But Magic Light reads your story and intelligently spits it into scenes, like a real movie script. Each scene comes with its own narration text, its own AI-generated image, and its own pacing. So this is actually huge if you think about it, because now, instead of one long paragraph, you have scene by scene structure, just like a storyboard in an animation studio. That's what separates a flat slideshow from a real engaging video. I didn't have to guess how to time things or where to add transitions. The AI handled all of it and got it right. Sorry, I sound like it's being sponsored by Magic Light, but this video is not sponsored. I do have an affiliate link down below, but that is all. I am paying my own money to get this subscription and I just wanted to bring this tool to you guys. So now I can go in, fine tune a scene, split it into shorter parts, adjust the length, and the tool updated the visuals instantly. I was honestly not expecting this level of control. I thought I would be fixing everything afterwards, but this is way smoother than everything I have done using Midjourney and CapCut. I'm curious though, would you rather manually control every scene 
or you would let AI handle most of the structure and just tweak as needed. Let me know what you prefer down in the comments. Anyways, once I liked the pacing and scenes, it was time to bring the characters to life. So here's where it gets fun. Characters stay consistent across your entire story. That's one of the biggest limitations of tools like Midjourney. But with Magic Light, your characters stay locked in for every scene. Inside the editor, I clicked Edit Characters and dropped in a prompt instead of trying to draw or design anything myself. For Leo, I used this prompt and for Zara, I used another one for a girl. What I really like here is that once you lock your characters, they are automatically used across every scene. The level of consistency makes a huge difference in how polished your video feels. So you can preview, tweak and re-render images until it feels right. So once the characters are done, I jumped into sound. First, I set the voiceover speed to 0.8 or 0.9 I like that slightly lower story time feel, especially for younger audience of yours. So then I picked a voice that matched the tone. You can preview each option and pick what sound you like the most. Magic Light also lets you layer in background music, adjust volumes and balance everything so it feels immersive. At this point, I like to go scene by scene and ask myself a few things. Does the image fit in the narration? Does the tone match the emotion of that moment? Is the pacing too fast or too slow? And if I'm not happy with the image, I will just hit regenerate. It gives me a new one, no extra cost. So this is where it all starts feeling like a real production house. But obviously this is a new tool. You will see hallucinations by the tool and you might have to regenerate those images. Now for the final layer, animation. You could skip it and just upload this to YouTube as is, but I would recommend don't do that and use this animation because you will love it. Click on any image and hit animate and then animate pro. That's when the still image comes alive. Characters float, backgrounds move, little sparkles drift across the screen and you will see how immersive the video can get. Don't need to overthink this. Even the default animation looks good, but if you want the little extra wow factor, use a prompt just like I did. Once that is done, hit generate video. Pick your final settings like aspect ratio, subtitles, and it is ready. No after effects, no final cut, no dragging clips around. You have got a complete animated kids video made entirely by AI. So that's how I turned a single idea into a fully animated monetizable kids story in one tool with one prompt. If you want to try it, the link is in the description below. You will get free credits to start playing with it today, but you can also get 5% off if you use my link to buy the pro version. That costs $10 per month if you are on a monthly plan or you can get 20% off extra if you get on an annual plan. So if you are ever thinking about building a YouTube channel with AI, this is the easiest starting point I have found. With these prices, it is pretty affordable too. The two videos on your screen will give you more ideas of making money with AI. Click on any one of them and I'll see you there.